This video is going to demonstrate how to get your QR code for the aluminum business card, also known as Digital Laser Material Processing Project Number 1. Now, one of the requirements for this is that you have a QR code that links to your personal profile uh, website. So, where are we going to go create a website? Well, you guys are lucky you all have access to the Google Suite and they have a pretty easy website creation tool there called Google Sites. So the first thing we want to do is go to Google Sites. So just open a new Google window, go to the Apps button. Now Sites is actually right here, but if you don't see it, you can always type it in and look for it that way. But I'm just going to use the easy way and go to Google Sites through the Apps. Now once you're here, it's going to show you right off the bat there are a bunch of templates. And look, right here, the second template is actually a portfolio. You can see some other ones I've done here. Start a portfolio. After a minute, it takes you into the page. There's this whole template for a portfolio. All you need to do right now is put your name in. So you're going to type in, so this is for John Doe, right? John Doe portfolio, your name, John Doe. And this is my ode to all the Johns out there without an H. I've had two of them last year, and I had to learn that the hard way. All right, so John Doe portfolio, John Doe. That's technically all you need to do at this point. Later on in other assignments throughout the year, we will create more of a robust portfolio, but all I want you to do right now is create it. But you can't just create it. You also have to publish it. So make sure you publish it here. Web address, that's totally fine. You can see it's housed in the district uh, area server, whatever exactly it is. Uh, I'm going to hit publish. And then we're going to take this URL that we just created, and we're going to copy that. I like Control-C for copy. Uh, go back to this page. Uh, has go back to the instructions for the card and there's a hyperlink here for a site that will create a QR code from our URL. So click that. Let's go to QR code monkey. Now this is where you're going to paste the QR code that you just copied. Control V. I'm actually going to want an SVG, but let's create the code first. These defaults are perfectly fine. Create QR code and click the SVG button. I think this is the uh, best foolproof way to get a QR code into Adobe Illustrator. These other ones will work, but the SVG works better with the laser. So make sure you select that. Now don't click any of this stuff. This is uh, the price for being a free website. All right, now if you're like me, it says done generating and it actually drops it into the bottom of my screen. Uh, it may have put it in your downloads as well if you don't see it here. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And look at pretty fancy QR code. But I can't take it into Google, or uh, excuse me, I can't go straight into Adobe Illustrator. So what I need to do is, number one, remember that name. Uh, come over to Adobe Illustrator. You're going to go to File place put it in there and then you can make it the appropriate size but that's all you have to do to get your qr code it's actually really simple just follow the steps and make sure you get an svg and then you can uh, put it in there it only takes probably five minutes to do if that all right guys uh, for the rest of the information there's the other video that shows you how to actually go about creating selecting fonts um, creating your guide rectangle and then saving as a pdf to take to the laser so at this point, you should pretty much have seen everything you need to know to create the business card. So good luck, do a good job, and you'll have a really nice product to show off to people.